Peace be upon you all. What is cloud computing? It's a very interesting question that most of us sometimes, if you are new or not familiar with cloud computing, sometimes you ask yourself, what kind of service provider which I should choose? Google, Amazon, Azure or whatever. So cloud computing is contained of several providers which provide the same service, but what is common between them? What benefits can I get from this cloud computing? What additional fees should I pay or what expenses I can subtract from my regular uh, application base when I'm using the cloud computing? A lot of questions related to cloud computing. For that reason, this presentation is going to highlight uh, most of the common uh, concepts of all the cloud computer service provider providing. In that case, in the future, after you watching this presentation, you will be able to learn any cloud computer providing uh, because you will understand and highlight it already the common concepts between all of them, which by the way, the foundations of all the cloud computing is the same. But the way of implementation of that concept sometimes it differ from one service provider to another. That's the only differences between all of them. So that's what we are going to do in this presentation, highlighting the most common concepts of cloud computing. Then later on you will be you will have the ability to choose what fits you. So let's get into the presentation to highlight everything. So let's get into introduction to a cloud computing. So as we promised, now we're going to start introduction to a cloud computing. Let's start by what is cloud computing? First of all, to understand what's cloud computing or to get the glance of it, we need to look at what is computing itself. What's the meaning of computing? Computing is a general term or a generic term used to reference when you process such a power, memory, network, storage, or, or any other resources required for the computational success of any program. You wrote a program, so you need this program to run. So you, you need to use some kind of resources. That's what we call it computing as a general term or a generic term. In that case, that will take us to the next level. What is cloud computing and what is the difference? Cloud computing is exactly the same as computing, but the only difference is that you are going to deliver this computing service over the internet by using pay-as-you-go pricing model from any kind of third party which provide such a cloud computing services. In that case, such services is going to include like servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence, or whatever what kind of service you are looking for, that third party is going to provide it to you as pay-as-you-go. Uh, it offers faster innovations because by this way you have a flexible resources and economical scales. You need something, you pay for it. Flexible, you need resources, you find it, you don't need it, you cancel it. Innovation, you don't focus on the resources itself, you just focus in your application. And because resources are available, all what you need, just ask for it and you will take it. Okay. How to get a glance of a cloud computing? So what kind of resources can I have of cloud computing? By this case, I need first of all to see what's mean a non-cloud computing. What can I do with non-cloud computing? So let's have a look of what's non-cloud computing and how it works. A non-cloud computing, it simply says it's like this. You wrote your application and your application needs to run somewhere and for that reason you need like a database or something to store your data so in that case you will ask for a database that you will handle by yourself you connect it and you start store your data into that database so you need an operation system where you can run your system your application you handle that by yourself and you need also a server to run that so you handle that by yourself and you need any other services so you handle that by yourself so as you can see a non-cloud computing is that you write the application and you handle everything by yourself, so you take care of every single thing. That's why we call it like an end cloud computing, like a term, that's all. So in that case, uh, that's the non-cloud computing. So what the models of cloud computing, what they are offering us of cloud computing, how can we use? There are three kind of models of cloud computing uh, provided by any provider. One of them it will be provided by you, we call it on premises or private cloud. This type of cloud computing, you are as the owner, 
you will be computing that resources and it will be used exclusively by users or by you by the business organization where you are running your application on hardware will be purchased for startup and maintenance by you you will take care of that organization also will have a full control over the resources and security because it will be on your own premises so you have control over everything that you have and also will be responsible for the maintenance and the updates for everything security and resources and you can imagine how the headache is that that will take us to the next level of computing it will be the public computing in public computing all what you saw before it will be provided by you by some kind of third library a uh, third part and it will be operating and owned by this third party cloud service providers they are a lot such as amazon such as google cloud or um, azure uh, whatever they are a lot of cloud providers so when you study uh, any one of this provider what they are providing you all of them they have a common things which they shared like cloud is sharing a lot of kind of services but will be provided under different names under some uh, additional like services or some custom things that cloud provider is running so in that presentation we are going to focus on what is common between all of them so in the future when you decide to choose which company you just need to know what kind of services and how they provide it there is no capital expenditure to scale up because it's a public cloud you pay as you go also the application will be very quickly you can uh, provision your application or deprovision it because it depends on what you need of resources that will take us to the next level it will be the hybrid cloud hybrid cloud is a combination between a public and the private cloud computing and you will share the responsibility maybe you will take part of the responsibility and the public cloud will take another part and maybe the other way around you decide what kind of services you want from the public what kind of services you will have it on your own premises that's very flexible because as you know you decide what you want from hyper cloud okay that's the models now what about the expenses how can i pay i need to i need to know that i pay for what or how in that case there are two type of expenses of cloud computing that two types first one we call it capital expenses that you mean that you pay upfront for spending a money on a physical infrastructure for example and after that as you keep going you will deduct that upfront expenses over time from your uh, service that you already have operational service is easy says pay as you go you need service you pay for it you don't need it you don't pay for it that's it operation services and that's what provided by the public cloud computing by the way okay that was the end of the part one intro or quick intro to what is cloud computing in general for second episode we are going to speak about what is the advantages of cloud computing what they are providing us as a cloud computing so see you next episode if you like it please share like comment and see you next time bye bye